Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath. Uh, this is my second video in the gout. First video I made only on the gout introduction and how it is happened, what is the etiology, everything and all there. Okay. And now we will see the drugs using for the gout. Right? Yeah. Let's start. Yeah. Classification of the drugs used in the gout. So the classification based on their uh, either you are going to treat the acute gout or uh, chronic gout. So like that you can be classified. First see acute gout. It is a for a short time. Chronic gout. Gout will be there for a longer time. Years together, lifespan it will be there. That is the main problem of the gout. You have to cut it in the initial times and uh, you need the medication and you have to change the lifestyle. You have to drink the more water. You have to go for exercise, proper regular exercise. Okay, and protein food you have to decrease, especially red meat. Okay, chicken, mutton, goat meat you have to reduce. Amino acid food. Okay, protein food you have to reduce. Egg you have to reduce. And I told now very severe pain will be there. No, mainly you have to use a painkiller for acute gout. See, first one is NSAIDs, non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs. Next, corticosteroids, steroidal painkiller. First one is non-steroidal painkiller. Do not consist of a steroidal molecule in their structure. Whereas a corticosteroids, it consists of a steroidal ring in their ring, but it also kills the pain. Generally, we are preferring the NSAIDs. Okay, because keep in your mind, steroidal painkiller, we are not suggesting much because it is having a effect that it decreases the immune system. That is the main problem of the steroids. Decreases the immune system. Whenever there is decrease in the system, automatically other diseases will start attacking that. And colchicine, this is also one of the uh, drug that we will see all the details inside. Colchicine, these two are the painkillers. You can keep in your mind. Okay. And chronic gout for a longer time. Inhibit the uric acid synthesis. I already told it is a uric acid excess synthesis, excess production. Now, what happened? We are doing some drugs are there. The drug stops the uric acid production. Synthesis. That's why we are calling it as a urostatic. Very important. Very, very important. Urostatic. Okay. Uric acid stats. Stops. Static. Okay. Not kinetic. Static, Eurostat. Example is allopurinol. Allopurinol. Hello. Febuxo state. Febuxo state. Okay. Two drugs are there. Eurostatic. In the examination, definitely they will ask what is the Eurostatic. And another one is there. Eurosuric. Eurosuric. See, uric acid. Both are Euro, Euro pumps. Euro, that is uric acid. In urine, it goes in urine, okay, increases the uric acid excretion through the kidney. Yeah, probenicid, probenicid, very important one, probenicid, okay. And the sulfine pyrazole, sulfine pyrazole, these are the urosuric, urosuric, urostatic. If you want to keep uh, uh, tricks, any tricks, short term, uh, NCC can keep in your mind, NCC, pneumonics, NCC, very popular, non-steroidal, steroidal, colchicine, and uh, allopurinol, allopub is very famous, you can Google it, okay, it is a pub, feb, like that you can remember, allo means allo, okay, uh, you can remember allo arjun also, allo arjun, okay, went to pub, like that also you can remember easily. Okay, and increased uric acid problem solution. See, probenicid, pro, 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 matched problem. It's gout problem is solution, S U L, sul. Like that, you can remember. It is a solution for. Pro. And NSAIDs, first we'll see, you start with the NSAIDs. Strong anti inflammatory drugs, really it required. Without painkiller, you cannot manage the gout. First, you have to give a painkiller. You have to give both painkiller. One side you have to manage the pain. Another side you have to either stop the uric acid or you have to put the excess of uric acid. You have to do anything or you can do both also. Okay.
ఇప్పుడు పెయిన్ కిల్లర్స్ ఈజ్ మ్యాండేటరీ 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 కంపల్సరీ స్ట్రాంగ్ యాంటీ ఇన్ఫ్లమేటరీ డ్రగ్స్ యూజ్ ఇన్ పేషెంట్స్ విత్ ద వితౌట్ కాంట్రా ఇండికేషన్ యూజ్ మ్యాక్సిమమ్ డోస్ పొటెంట్ ఎన్ఎస్ఐడి యూ హ్యావ్ టు యూస్ సి పొటెంట్ పవర్ఫుల్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద పవర్ఫుల్ పెయిన్ కిల్లర్స్ ఇండోమిథాసిన్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఎంజి ట్రైసిన్ ఎడే డైక్లోఫినాక్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఎంజి ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ట్రైసిన్ ఎడే ఆర్ ట్వైసిన్ ఎడే కెటరోలాక్ దీస్ ఇంపార్ట్ నేమ్స్ ఆర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఇండోమిథాసిన్ డైక్లోఫినాక్ సోడియం వీ నో వెరీ వెల్ కెటరోలాక్ నాపోక్సిన్ pyroxicum okay and continue until the pain inflammation is absent for 48 hours pain should be absent if you start using of uh, this drug pain will be stopped you, then you have to see the time if up to 45 48 hours if there is no pain you can stop the medication until that you have to continue up to the 48 hours right and mechanism of action inhibits the urate crystal phagocytosis that not required mainly it kills the pain pain is generated uh, uh, leukocytes in the inflamed joints okay chemotactic nsaids are not recommended for a long term for acute pain only you have to use whenever the pain persists then you have to give okay indomethacin first drug indomethacin sustained release capsules are available tablets is also available but indomethacin means capsules mainly available in the capsule injection is also available indomethacin but generally doctors are writing indomethacin sustained release capsules indochrome okay and uh, ducta close close duct close Uh, but those names are not required for your uh, examination diclofenac sodium injection preferably injection you have to give in the gout than the tablets keep in your mind that's why i kept it is on the top okay injection 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 whereas indomethacin capsule 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 you can give both pain killers also and the ketorolac okay dispersible tablets is there tablets are preferable uh injections are secondary injections also available naproxen tablets naproxen here you can see naproxen tablets napro okay sustained release indian only and pyroxicum pyroxicum gel is available here you can see pyroxicum is very popular in the form of gel you can apply the gel wherever the gout is attacked okay feldin it is a very popular pfizer company very top most pharmaceutical company pyroxicum is available in the 0.5% dispersible tablets also available immediately it shows disperse and shows onset of action is very quick okay injections also available yeah now uh, nsaids completed steroidal painkillers the main drug is here you can see this prednisone this you have to underline prednisone prednisolone main steroidal pain killer it is available in the form of tablets and in the form of injections okay tablets you give a preferable than the injection use when nsaids colgesin are risky when nsaids are uh, seems risky and it is showing a more side effects nsaids like uh, nsaids are the shows the hypertension side effects of nsaids peptic ulcer diseases gastric acidities that's why all doctors are writing along with the painkillers they are writing the omeprazole also renal impairment kidney failure if you are using a regularly painkillers liver also damaged in such a cases you have to give this one keep in your mind okay use when nsaids ineffective when there is a side effects of nsaids is more mode of administration intra articular injection is available directly they will give a injection to the knee joint okay this is a very popular depo medrol it is also pfizer company methyl prednisolone acetate injection suspensions are available injectable suspension oral prednisolone this is the oral prednisolone 30 to 40 mg for 3 to 5 days okay by 5 mg every day not much important but keep the main drug you have to keep known in competitive examination generally they will not ask the dose okay keep in your mind dosage form they may ask that is also less name mechanism of action is very very important for competitive examination and regular 
Next, another important drug, colchicine. Here you can see this is a very popular drug. Brand name is gout nil. Nil. No. Right. Alkaloid from alkaloid. It is a one of the alkaloid. This is also important. Uh, which of the following gout drug is alkaloid? Colchicine. Alkaloid from calcium acutum nail. Uh, neither analgesic. It is not analgesic nor anti-inflammatory, but it is specific for gouty inflammation. Mainly for the prophylaxis prevention. Prophylaxis is nothing but prevention. <coughs> okay, most similar meaning is there. It has a, no effect on the synthesis or promote or excretion. They do not excrete. They do not stop the synthesis. Okay, but it stops. Mechanism of action. You can see how calcium binds to the intracellular protein. Tubulin tube. Lin, okay, and causes the depolymerization and disappearance of the microtubules that you can keep in you know, more than enough. Gout nil intracellular protein tubulin it binds with it that's more than enough. Uses colchicine is preferred without confirmed diagnostic of the gout. Acute gout, okay, that and all ADR adverse drug reaction is vomiting, abdominal pain. Okay, and acute toxicity and uh, chronic toxicity is also there. Gout nil, if you are using continuously, bloody diarrhea, diarrhea. I told no, stomach upset will be there. Throat pain, respiratory depression, okay, hematuria, blood urea. Hema means blood uh, that is present in the urea. That is one of the problem of gout nil. Okay, if you are using for a chronic uh, agranulocytosis, peripheral neuritis, myopathy, renal tubular necrosis, kidney damage, the problem. Next drug is allopurinol. Allopurinol, <clears throat> uric acid synthesis inhibitor, it is a static, urostatic, xanthine oxidase inhibitor, very, very important. Number of times it was appeared. Allopurinol stops which enzyme? It kills which enzyme? Xanthine oxidase. Okay, hypoxanthine, xanthine, uric acid. This xanthine will be xanthine oxidase enzyme. Allopurinol blocks the xanthine oxidase. This xanthine, this is already I have shown in my first slide itself. In my previous video, this is the conversion. Hypoxanthine to xanthine, xanthine to uric acid. Xanthine oxidase is an enzyme. It promotes the hypoxanthine to xanthine, xanthine to uric acid. Allopurinol stops. So there is no uric acid, no xanthine. Hypoxanthine will be remain like that only. Very popular product, very famous under the name of Jailoric by the GSK, Glaxo Smith Klein Company, uh, Harlex Company is there, no? Yeah, that one. Very popular uh, company, very, very good. And you can see the strips like this Jailoric, Z Y L O R I C. See how the there was a competition, same almost similar sound they are using, Xylor. This is somewhat not, this is a branded one. This is not uh, branded. It is a generic product like that. Xylor. See, name, spelling almost uh, it, uh, looks like a branded product. How the, the competition, see? Allopurinol prevents the synthesis of uric acid by inhibiting the enzyme xanthine oxidase. Results in reduced plasma uric acid. You can show your talent in the examination. These type of all the talents. Okay. Once you know the schematic presentation table, that's enough. You have to keep in your mind. Schematic presentation is very, very important. At the bottom, you running matter, you can show your talent in the examination. Increased xanthine, hypoxanthine excreted through urine. Allopurinol, short acting. This is very important. It is a short acting, not long acting. Very important in competitive exam. Short acting, competitive. Competitive. In the exam, they lost competitive or non competitive. Or competitive. Short acting. Okay. And yeah, this is some of the indications. Uh, the main thing uh, average dose you can keep in your mind 300 mg per daily. Average dose. Initially 50 to 100. Later you can uh, increase. Okay. And uh, it is mainly used for the chronic gout. Propylaxis use. Allopurinol having uh, some side effects. That's a uh, GI upset. See here, the stomach upset is there. That is the main problem. 
and uh, alopecia this is a baldness alopecia means a baldness most of the students uh, they do not know this allo allo matched both if you are using allopurinol you will get alopecia both matched exactly allo allo cataracts see here full moon is there half moon full moon we you know uh, the god uh, moon generally in telugu they are calling it as a moon uh, full moon like that okay and uh, allopurinol hypersensitivity for some patients it shows the hyperindicated contraindications don't use in the children elderly patient pregnancy lactation liver and kidney diseases don't use this allopurinol and uh, urico suric i already told no urico suric excretes the production of uh, sorry excretion of the uric acid from the blood through the kidney highly lipid soluble benzoic acid probenecid is very popular okay it is a urico suric probenecid plus penicillin synergic effect a super hit blockbuster combination number of times it was appeared in the examination probenecid and penicillin it is a blockbuster okay it is a synergistic effect okay it is a 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 is a synergistic actually 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 no here synergistic effect 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 okay and 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 means additive effect additive effect antagonist means 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 very simple 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 antagonist both are uh, against so nothing action 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 addition action 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 synergistic effect Okay, so provenance, how provenance it increases the duration of action of the penicillin. That mechanism they will ask in the examination. You refer it drug-drug interactions. Very good positive drug interaction. This is, okay. And dose 250 to 500 mg bis That is two times. Sulfipyrazone. This is the one of the tablet. Okay, in main point you had to keep in your mind inhibits the tubular reabsorption. I already told you, it's uric acid freely excreted, but again it will be absorbed. That process will be stopped by sulfipyrazone. Main underlying point you concentrate, remaining nothing. Okay, pyrazone. This is see sulfipyrazone 200 mg tablets is available. And uh, bench bromarone. Benz bromoron is uh, uh, see here. Benz bromoron allopurinol along with allopurinol it is available. Okay, it is not much uh, using. Okay, it is a newer drug, more potent uricosuric acid, but it is a last option generally. Okay, inhibitor of the tubular reabsorption. It reversibly inhibits the reversibly inhibits the tubular reabsorption of uric acid. Effective dose is sixty to eight hundred mg. Okay, so I stop here. Uh, Alexander is a sufferer of the gout, right? In playlist, I have kept all in subject wise. In my channel, just watch the playlists. So there you can see all my videos in the subject.